And now for the Monero development segment. Hey, what's up? Comrade, how's it going, man? I'm I'm, I'm good. I, I could make it, as you see. All right. Thanks for doing it, as always. <laughs> um, uh, well, yeah, yeah. give it a go. I guess you're going to talk about the, the upgrade? Monero, upgrade? The Monero OS uh, now and maybe next week about the upgrades for the business and maybe subscription wallets. Okay. So there's not really much to say about the monitor OS as, as it's basically an AR uh, ARch based OS and it's it's live uh, so you can run it through a pen drive too like for example nice hash or uh, high OS and you don't need to take up uh, all the space from your SSDs on the HDDs uh, it's inspired by NiceHash uh, as, as written and is based on Arch, so it's neither a Debian or RPM based system. Uh, the way you, you install it uh, is you can either use Balina Eacher uh, or you can use DD by. Le One second, let me get my USB key. Got it. So basically, you can do it this way. Uh, like you check the USB, which which USB you have. So for me, uh, for me, I think this one's the one. Yes. So it's an eight gig USB, and the way I install it is DD. Uh, the EF input file uh, should be the ISO that you downloaded uh, from the releases tab. Uh, for me, I, I personally, did, personally didn't download the ISO, so I'm just going to use a random one that I have, Proxmox. The output file should be the drive that you are installing, so in my case, sdc slash bev slash SBC and uh, you should generally use uh, a block size of 32 megabytes. And if you want to see the status of the installation to your USB key, you could write status equals progress. And that way, one second, I need to use sudo because it's a read command. So that way, uh, it starts installing the uh, OS to your. Are you uh, using, using the Proxmox e ISO as an example? Yes. I, I had that on hand because I I have uh, really little space on my drives. I, I need to buy a one terabyte one. So uh, when it finishes, you, you can just uh, write write sync in the terminal, and it syncs of the. USB key, and then you, you can pull it out. Uh, the other way is, is as I said, you can use Balina Etcher. Uh, you, you can download it from their website. I think uh, that's balina.io. And you can just open it, uh, click on flash from file, uh, click the ISO that you downloaded from the releases tab uh, from this GitHub. One second. And so, uh, just just to explain, so why why would people go ahead and use this versus? So other... basically, if you have uh, lots of mining systems or just one that you don't want to really mess with, mm -hmm. then you can just in install it like a mining OS, and you can just set it up as as written here. One second, the installation, and uh, preferable preferably you would use P2 pool. So you just click on this, and uh, you download the config, the JSON uh, from here that you have to put in the COWMOS partition that uh, it creates, uh, the uh, ISO. And, and you would put the config, the JSON in there uh, that has this config. 
and uh, you put the PT pool uh, underlying config, the JSON uh, there with your uh, Monero address, uh, a Monero node, maybe the SR uh, uh, VSB one or your own node, preferably. So it's easier to mine with P2 pool than using XMR rig? Uh, no, so uh, P2 pool is using XMR rig. So th this is the XMR rig config, and this is the P2 pool config. Uh, you download, it downloads the P2 pool node for you, starts it with this config that, that you have. You just enter the RPC, ZMQ port, and your node, and of course your uh, XMR address. And uh, it started for you when you reboot your computer uh, once it's bootable. And uh, it uses the XMRA config that you have here uh, to connect to the P2 pool node, which will mine for uh, you on the P2 pool. Okay. Uh, Tuxi, any comments here? I'm just trying to understand what. Uh what the development is here versus, I guess, using what previously previously existed. Well, so, like, sorry, ba ahead. so basically, you'd only have to edit two files and uh, download an ISO that you flash the USB drive, instead of having to, uh, instead of ha having to set up multiple computers uh, with their own OS, with their own uh, XMR rig, P2 pool node. Uh, Etc. You just uh, have one USB key, which you can either boot live, or you can install it to several computer SSDs. So mo basically, if you have multiple computers, this is so much easier, in my opinion. Okay. Um, Tux, any comments there? I think it's kind of cool. It's like easy if you need if you want to swap the the systems fast you can just take the usb out put a different one and it's if you like have a dedicated system just for monero mining because like a lot of people do because they want to use the full all the cores on their processor mm -hmm. then it makes makes it easy and convenient to set that up and how is it different from nice hash isn't nice hash kind of do that already or no uh nice hash i, I think nice hash only only uh enables you to use their own pool like nice nice hash OS. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And uh, it's it's based on Arch, so it really just has the basic uh, Linux things uh, in it. Not like uh, Ubuntu, which you have multiple bloatware on because it's it, it's, it's made easy it's made optimized made. setup. Yes. Mining. Yes. Okay. Very cool. And, All right. Uh, which I just said, uh, and with Windows, you you would only use Balina uh, and basically the same setup, but uh, you need to create an NTFS partition uh, to for it to function proper properly, which can uh, do by opening the uh, hard disk partitions utility. Uh, it is safe because we're buying another. Yes. Explain that. Yes, my mighty pumpkin saying it's uh, no. Uh, yes, yes. So basically, you, you could just drive a USB key of maybe eight or sixteen gigs, mm -hmm. uh, rather than buying a, a whole SSD of maybe one twenty-eight or two fifty-six, two fifty-six gigs. Like a USB key, I don't know. In the US, in in Hungary, it costs like ten bucks nowadays. For the the regular regular Joe Monero uh, guy who's you know, maybe not super technical, what do you, what do you suggest these days for somebody who wants to start mining? So if CPU? if someone wants to start mining Monero by using their own CPU, like their uh, own desktop and not a separate PC, yeah, then I'd probably suggest uh, using Gupax. But if you are into it. Uh, by buying a separate computer for mining and using your desktop for desktop things, then I probably use this OS. It's real straightforward. Mm. Tux, you got any comments there? Like for, for you know for the noob that wants to just turn mine on their computer, simplest way they want to mine maybe P two pool. I mean, I think you had the uh, the best the best options there. Like Goopax is probably. Uh... It's probably the way to go, to be honest. 
All right. Have we done anything on Gupex itself? I don't think we. I don't know if you ever had. Uh, no, up. maybe uh, I I could do it one of the weeks. And that, that that's just that's just like a, a GUI for for mining, right? It makes it like super... uh, basically it's down, it downloads the the XMR rig, the P two pull node for you, and you can just click click maybe six buttons and you're mining already. Mm-hmm. It's got a lot right. more options to make the mining more optimized for your yeah, yeah, compared yeah, to Monero GUI. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of got a better miner, but and it's easy to get P two pull up and running with it, right? Yes. All right, thank you, thank you so much, man. Uh, stick around if you can. Let's. I guess we could try to do viewers on stage. Even I see Alaska Anon turn yes, his camera uh, on. He's, he's just, our, ju- yeah. just to mention, this OS was made by Four Car or Arkal. I don't know how he wants to be pronounced. And uh, of course, there is the current XR projects uh, to look at for. Oh which, yes, uh, yeah, yeah. Let, let... Which are the Monero signer, which I thought has been abandoned, but no, uh, they came up with some updates on it. They featured how it would look. One second, let me find that post. So, if I don't exit it out. And this is how it, it will look. It's it's basically a seed signer, but uh, with the Monero uh, signer firmware. And here's their website. Coming mm-hmm. soon. Well, de- developing a full firmware and OS for such a little devices is a bit complicated, but they are doing yeah, their best. Yeah, that's cool. Is that the one Monero time is doing? Yeah. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Nice. I don't think we ever had him on, right? I think he was a yeah. little expansive because of language barriers. Yeah, I think he's uh, French. Yeah, but maybe maybe we can get him to come on. So you're saying you're saying these are some projects to keep an eye on that have been making progress. Yes, and uh, of course the sub- subscription and business wallet, uh, which I was doing with uh, Luke, but I don't have much time nowadays. Sadly, he is doing the business wallet currently, uh, making a lot, making lots of updates for it. So you see, two days ago, two days ago, three. Mm-hmm. Uh, basically, he made a separate GUI, uh, just like this. But uh, we will update to a more modern G- GUI uh, soon, if if we are able to. Very cool. Yeah, maybe we could get maybe we get Luke to come on. I know, I know, Pretty he's cool busy. To check that out. So I think we, yeah. we had you show the subscription wallet a while back, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah, but now the business wallet is a is a new thing. That's I'll, that, that that's I'll, an exciting project. The business yes. wallet. I, I like what he's trying to solve there. I'll ask ask him if he wants to come on because I'll have I have direct contact with him. All right. And here are the Monero stats for the moment of writing. Uh, well, Monero tran- transactions was. I do these three dates uh, because. So we have a bit of analyzation here. Uh, uh, this is the 30th, 7th, and the, the 13th, because uh, we currently don't have the data for two days, of course. Oh, OK, so you're showing from last episode to, OK, yes. <laughs> that's, that's cool. To the, re- the most uh, recent on the 13th. Well, hey, look, uh, over 20,000. We, we, are, we are going here, yeah. And uh, as, as you can see, we will hit 3 million uh, block heights uh to the next on utopia episode oh we should do a oh, three should. million black height celebration episode yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice and then the, the node count uh, do we have an accurate way of determining node count what do you what are you using for that to be to be honest i don't really know if we have a hundred percent accurate one but there is mono that fails slash map maps mm. no maps not maps not just map and here it would uh, show it just like Bali did, but uh, I don't know why it doesn't. Oh, it's still loading. Oh, oops! Do you hear me? Yeah. Do Do we know? Um, do we have any insight into how accurate node counts are? I think this is the most accurate that we can find currently. Mighty Pumpkins asking about Anon Narrow project. Which one was that again? I'm, I'm actually forgetting. That's That's uh, the other uh, the hardware. offline wallet right? yeah that, that would be the uh, offline maybe phone or hardware wallet if if you can do it yourself 
Right. Uh, I, I, I think it's still, still live. I'm not sure. I'll have to search it up. Yes. And I think we had those guys on. All right. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much, man. Thank you, comrade. Uh, stick around if you can. We'll, we'll do viewers on sure. if he wants to jump up. I, I can stay maybe till 30 next hour, but I'm not sure. We will right. see. Whatever you can do. Uh, comrade, thank you, man. The, the the youngest the youngest known Monero Monero user, <laughs> uh, and and developer that I know of. Comrade, how old are you? You're fifteen. Yes, I'm fifteen, but I, I wouldn't state myself as a Monero developer. Just a simple developer. Uh, okay. You know, well, I I only have developer uh, the subscription wallets and the business wallet so far. But that's 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 big, man. That's more than most have done. So, kudos yeah. to you. Um, all right, moving along. Thank you as always, comrade.